Well everyone, this is just a quick tutorial on happiness by the 1975, so I'll just get straight into it. The opening sequence goes like this. And all you're doing there is using your index finger to mute all six strings. You're not barring down on it, you're just muting it. And then with your ring finger, you're going the 11th fret on the G string on your pinky on the 12th fret of the B. And you strike that twice. Strike it twice again. And then on the third strike, you move your pinky up to the 11th fret on the B. Pause for just a wee beat. And then move your pinky back down on the 12th. Strike again. So the rhythm will go like one, two, one, two, three, and four. And on the and, you don't strike. And then you strike on the four. So to give you an example, one, two, one, two, three, and four. One, two, one, two, three, and four. One, two, one, two, three, and four. So you play that four times over, and then you're into the main riff, which goes something like this. And it does that throughout the entire song. So all that is, is the ninth fret on the D. You strike up twice, like with an upstroke. And then there's like a grace note. Strike it again, and then a hammer on. Between the ninth and the eleventh on the A string. said it just repeats that throughout the entire song but what I done on my cover is I followed some of the vocal melody and just copied it on a guitar <laughs> stuff like that and um our body's like a modern art and you're like oh. and to give you the notes that you can play it's just the b major scale you can go Hit it again. And you can use any of those notes within that scale to sort of come up with your own wee licks on different variations. And then for the solo, like the wee short solo that Autumn plays, it goes something like this. The main points you want to get is this part. Those sections are what you want to do, and then after that you can have fun improvising and coming up with whatever you want. But I'll show you how to play that. So you're sliding from the 11th to the 13th on the D string. You're striking twice on the 11th on the D. Back to the 13th, 11th, and then 9, and then 11 again. So dead slow. And you just repeat that three times and then at full speed it'll sound something like this. And then for this wee part, you're hammering on on the G string from the 11th to the 13th and then the 12th fret on the B back to the 13th on the G and then 11th on the G and then it's really quick so it's like oh well, sorry and then all that is is slide from the 11th to the 13th on the D 
11th on the G, back to 13th on the D with a loaded vibrato. So those two together. And then after that I do like a quick hammer on and pull off on the 13th uh, to the 11th on the G. And then slide down from the 13th to the 11th on the D and then and then once you do that, you can just start going into like your own sort of fills and riffs and The solo that I done <laughs> I don't know if I'll, if I'll teach it note for note because it's just something I came well, like came up with on the spot. But I just started off with like running up the scale, so it was the solo went something like. pretty much the entirety of the song and I hope this was helpful um, <laughs> in terms of a tutorial the quality is probably not up there but um, thank you very very much for watching and hopefully it helped in some way let me know if it did and all the best lads thank you for watching <laughs>